video, I will show you about short-term scheduling using sequencing jobs for longest processing time or LPT. Sequencing jobs specify the order in which jobs should be performed at work centers. The choice of which priority rule to choose depends in part on how each rule performs on four criteria. The priority rules try to minimize completion time, maximize facility utilization, minimize number of jobs in the system, and minimize job lateness. In this example, I will show you how to use sequencing job for longest processing time. Let's get started. Five architectural rendering jobs are waiting to be assigned at Minion Factory. Their work processing times and due dates are given in the following table. The firm wants to determine the sequence of processing according to longest processing time. Job will assign a letter in the order they arrive, A, B, C, D, and E. For the longest processing time, we need to rearrange the job sequence according to the work processing time. The highest is E, which is 9. Next, C, A, D, and B. After that, we need to find the flow time. The flow time in the system for this sequence measures the time each job spends waiting plus time being processed. For E, job work processing time is 9, flow time 9, and job due date is 23. For C, the flow time is 9 plus 8, equal to 17. For A, the flow time is 17 plus 6, equal to 23. For D, 23 plus 3, equal to 26. And finally, for B, 26 plus 2, equal to 28. The total number of flow time for this job sequence is 103. The next step is to find the job lateness. We need to compare job due date with the flow time. For A, flow time is 9 and job due date is 23, so it not go beyond the due date, nor job lateness. For C, flow time is 17 and job due date is 18. It's still within the time range, so no job lateness. But for A, flow times is 23 and job due date is 8, 15 days late. For D, flow times is 26 and job due date is 15, it is 11 day late. And for B, flow times is 28 and job due date is 6. And we get 22 day late. The total number of job lateness is 48 days. After we get all the information of total number of job work time, flow time and job due date and job lateness, we can compute the average completion time. Utilization metric. Average number of jobs in the system and finally average job lateness. That's all. Thank you.